Random question for you. Do you like vlogs? Do you like vlogs like I like vlogs? Do you like watching other people's lives from different perspectives and different places, different lifestyles than you? Well, if you do, then you're just like me. Not only do I like vlogs, I like making vlogs and I like bringing them to you here on YouTube. So I'm Jen and I'm online and this is my vlog. Well, taxes are done and as we predicted, we do owe the government. I kind of expected it, so I'm not surprised. I knew we were going to owe the government something. So that's done. So we're just going to chill around the house. Nothing much. This is going to be a low-key chill weekend. I don't want to do anything. I really don't want to go anywhere. Except for out to dinner because I'm starving. <laughs> Catch up with you later. It had been a long week and the stress of getting all the paperwork together and doing the taxes, I just wanted a nice, quiet Saturday at home. Now that the weather is nice enough, we decided we're going to dedicate our Sundays to walking. After our brisk walk, I was pretty sweaty and hot, so I decided I'd go ahead and wash these locks and I've already washed them, now I'm just getting ready to dry them. Another relaxing day at home. Hey, did anybody get a chance to catch the solar eclipse? This was gonna be my first solar eclipse because in the passing years, it's always been raining where I was. And if you saw it, let me know where you saw it from. Happy Monday, and it has been a very nice Monday. I watched the solar eclipse. It wasn't quite as dramatic as I thought it would be, but it was cute, it was cute. I enjoyed it, I got my little glasses and had them ready, got home from work at a decent hour to be able to catch it, and just started getting dinner. We are going to go work out tonight because you know I am still trying to win this battle against that postmenopausal 10 pound bulge and I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm gonna keep on and keep up the good fight. So let me take my vitamins. Uh, dinner is prepped so when we get back from the gym all I have to do is warm it up and then I just have some packages I need to open. Um, I'm really not trying to be dramatic but I think swallowing these huge pills is literally going to kill me. Um, I was going to open those packages, but then I just remembered I've got something important to do. I got to get outside and spray those weeds. I don't want them getting out of hand because this is going to be the year of taking care of the outside. This is going to be the summer, spring, summer, partially fall, whatever. We're going to take care of our lawn this year. It's not going to be the worst lawn on the block anymore. Okay, time to open up the packages and see what we got. This is from Amazon. I have a feeling I know what this is. This should be the microphone that I ordered for my Insta360 Ace Pro because the DJI Mic 2 is supposed to work with it, but mine never connects. They said with software updates, it's supposed to be better, but mine just never connected. I don't know if I just got a bad batch or what. So I went ahead and I watched a channel that reviewed this mic and they said it worked really well with the Insta360 Ace Pro. <laughs> the problem is I have so many Insta360s that I kind of forget which one is which. I have, the first one I got was the Insta360 X series. I got the one and the two. And then I got the second series of the Insta360 Go and then I went and got the Insta360 Ace Pro, which I really, really like. It is like my favorite outdoor vlogging camera. But when I'm in the house, I use my DJI Pocket 3 and the mic that it comes with when I remember to use the mic. This mic is the Sabin Tech, compatible with OIS and Android. 
for vlogging Bluetooth microphone. You can get a look at that. Nice packaging. I feel like everybody imitates the Apple packaging, which I must say I do like. It's kind of slick looking. I like, the, oh, it's super light. Wow. It comes with a dead cat and ear port and a way to charge it. And that's it. I imagine it's pretty straightforward as far as connecting with the Bluetooth. Can't be that complicated. Okay, so here is my Insta360 Ace Pro, and here is my Sabatech Bluetooth wireless microphone. Let's see how easy this sucker is to connect. Now there's only one button on here, so I imagine it's not that hard. We're gonna assume that it's fully charged. Of course, you should never make assumptions. So it is now connected and it says smart mic. As you can see right here, smart mic is paired. So you do have a little indication there that it is paired with the mic. So let's give this a test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I don't know if it's recording or not. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, it's definitely working. Okay. I don't know if it's recording or not. It's, it's working. That was pretty easy. That was a really simple setup. Um, all I did was just press this one button that it has, whereas the DJI mic has multiple buttons, at least one, two, three. Um, this was pretty straightforward and easy. I don't know how it sounds, but maybe I'll use this instead of using my DJI mic, because I kind of like this because it's much lighter. And it doesn't have a light. Well, it does have a light. So I don't know. Maybe I'll switch to this one. We'll see. The only thing bugaboo is remembering to take these because it doesn't clip on to here. It doesn't stick onto there. If I had something that could like magnetically put it there so they'd always be together, that would be ideal. So that's a new toy. Mm, I feel like I shot myself in the foot having two mics because I can't keep these together, so I feel like I'm going to forget. I just wish it just stuck to this somehow. Boo. Anyway, boo-hoo me. Okay, now the next package. Please don't allow me to buy any more white dresses. We have off-white. We have white. And we have off-white and we have white again. No more white dresses for me. No more. I was almost about to say that they let me down with this, but when I put it on, I actually like it. I wasn't crazy about the fabric because I expected it to be more cottony. This is definitely more of a kind of a polyester type thing going on. And I, the back and the sides are pretty risque, as you can see. <laughs> but I picture this in Aruba, maybe Cancun, going out to a nice dinner. Oh, let me sit down in it and see how much boobage shows. Definitely will need some tape to make sure this doesn't go flying everywhere. And this is as tight as it can go here. But I might put a little extra clip or pin just to tighten that up a little bit, but I kind of like it. Yeah, when I first felt the fabric, I didn't like it, but I like it. Not bad, not bad at all. I love these billowy legs. And it has a lining, so it's not sheer and see-through. I don't know if you could see that, but it has a lining. Okay, everything is so crazy wrinkled because I was so thirsty to try it on that I didn't bother ironing it. And I like this. I may or may not wear the shorts and the top together, but I definitely like the top. I love the big bellowy sleeves. And I love this openness right here. That's kind of cute. This could be a cute cover up too. I like it. Not sure if I'll wear the shorts. Yeah, I will. I will. Definitely. But I like this. Now, this one is definitely my favorite. This is so me. I love long, white, flowy dresses. This is definitely going to Spain this summer. It may go to Mexico, too. I don't want to take too many white dresses, so i got to pick one. 
and this dress is probably my favorite. As you can see, there is a trend here. Low cut, flowy, long dresses, either white or off-white. I have a type. Happy Tuesday. I've um, got another package in. This is for once, not Amazon. This is actually Fabletics because part of getting into shape, working out three days a week, uh, you need the drip, as the young kids say. Anyway, I just needed some more leggings because I'm going three days a week and I have two good pair of leggings. The rest of the leggings, the quality's not so great, but I have two pair of Fabletics leggings that I absolutely love, mainly because they have pockets and I love having pockets. I don't want to buy any more leggings or athletic workout gear unless they have pockets. So I ordered two pair. There's technically four in here because I did order two for my daughter as well because she loves Fabletics leggings as well, much as I do. So let's do this without breaking the nails. So I was very basic. I got a pair of black ones and I also got this blue. And Fabletics have really good quality leggings. They really last. The stitching is really good. It holds up in the wash. And they're really soft. This blue is so pretty. I think you can get the idea of what it's like on camera. Anyway, I got the medium, um, regular length. I Sometimes I wish I get, I should have gotten long because I like my leggings to be a little extra long, but these are fine. They at least go down to, at least go down to my ankles, which is all I want. And they have pockets. Why don't women's clothing have as many pockets as men? I'll never understand that. We need pockets too. And these are really soft. I love the material. Like I said, the stitching is really, really good on Fabletics. You don't have to worry about running holes or anything like that. Or at least I've never experienced runs, holes, or anything like that. And these are the black pair. Pretty much the same thing, just in different colors. So I am going to enjoy these. So that gives me four pairs of leggings to wear so I can rotate and you know have something in the laundry and then have another pair ready to wear so i'm very excited about getting those more excited than i thought i'd be and the rest of the day i'm going to iron all those clothes that i got the previous day all the dresses i still cannot believe i bought that many white dresses what was i thinking not that i'm not gonna wear them but that's a lot of white dresses maybe i should just do a video on all my white dresses and I'll put these up because these are pretty cold. So in a few minutes, I am going to have to get dinner ready. And the next, rest of the night, I'm going to practice my Spanish and just chill. I feel like I'm getting some muscle definition in my arms because I was just saying the other day, all this hard work I'm doing at the gym, I, I'm not going to expect the scale to be my buddy and, you know, give me the numbers that I want. But I want to see some kind of changes. And at least I think I'm getting more toned in my arms. I feel like there's a little bit more definition in this muscle right here in my um, in my triceps. A little bit in my biceps, but more so in my triceps. I definitely feel like there's a little more tone there. So, uh, 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 good on me. Anyway, so because I got two new pair of leggings. I'm going to have to get rid of some leggings. This was the Fabletics Demi Lovato collection, which were cute, but these straps really aren't giving anymore. I'm getting rid of these pink. I love them. They fit very well, but honestly, this color does nothing for me. Uh, these are some, these are Fabletics as well, and they're stirrups. The stirrup is not comfortable. And this is just a pair of tights. I think, am I going to keep the tights? I don't know. Fabletics. Uh, this is Lululemon. Uh, I got these to go underneath to help keep me warm. So these will stay. These are just a pair of cheap leggings and they have lots of lint and debris on them and I'm not going to bother with that. These are a pair I got, um, another pair of cheap leggings and uh, they really fit kind of odd in the waist so those are going to go. These are my new pair and I really should get rid of these but these are nostalgic for me. These are actually Wicked tights that I got when we went to see Wicked in New York City. And they have a sentimental hold on me and I can't get rid of them. I should because I really don't wear them. And plus they're really thin. But um, I'm just not ready to let go of these yet. So we're going to keep these. And these uh, have a hole in them. So they got to go. And I rarely wear 
white leggings, but I'm going to keep them because I believe these have pockets. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to keep them. And I've got these velvet leggings. They look nice with Christmas garb. Do I want to keep these? Do they have pockets? They do not have pockets and they're short. No, I'm not keeping these. I don't want any short leggings. They just, when you're short, they just don't flatter you. And these, oh, these are my ones with pockets, I believe. So I have drastically reduced my leggings drawer. Oh, these, these are also short, but they have little tie-up strings. Uh, still gonna get rid of them. And these are also for keeping me warm and they're a pair of black, so I'm gonna keep these. And there you go. Like that, I have more room more space and I promise, promise, promise I'm not filling it up with anything else. Since I was on a roll getting rid of my leggings, I extended that to other drawers and really went through and got rid of a bunch of stuff that I definitely wasn't wearing. Off to charity, these things will go. That's it for the vlog. Let me know down below if you got a chance to see the solar eclipse, but most importantly, did you get those taxes in time? And I will see you on the next vlog. Bye.